Ow. Well, this is uh, gorgeous so far. All right, I guess we're gonna go on an adventure. Okay, we're moving a little bit faster now, it looks like. Never mind, we're sliding. That sun is pretty much how I felt um, yesterday. The 90 degree weather. Can we read the graves? No? Okay, so these look like gravestones. That's not that's not a good thing. At least from what I can tell anyway. Hmm. Okay, so you can walk up the jump. This looks fancy. Hmm. Hold. What am I holding? X? Oh, okay. Okay, so can I only do that when I have those things around, I guess? It seems like it. Interesting. Okay. I can kind of catch the um, wind in the air, too. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, take a little look around here, then. Maybe we're supposed to, like, collect the um, pieces of the cloth a little bit to see if it will give us more flight. Let's grab this stuff over here. Oh, you can't, like, stack them, I guess. Okay, so it's kind of like a charge. Hmm. Let's try and fly in here, I guess. that okay, I see the light coming through here So some kind of hieroglyph. Okay.
Thank you, Injustice. Okay. I'm not sure what we found there, but... I guess that's good. <laughs> Yo, Creative, thanks for the host. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Shout out to Creative. How, how's your uh, your evening going? I'm playing uh, Journey for the first time. It's actually been an interesting start so far. Okay, I see some more cloth over here. What's it called? Like scarves, maybe? I guess. I don't know. Can't get to this though. You doing alright? You felt a little sick this morning, but you're doing better. I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling better. It's always rough. A lot of people are getting sick right now. I think it's just like, you know, the weather, and then like the options of it changing, like you know that heat wave, and then. Hmm. You think it's worth getting a journey? Um, I just started. We literally just started about roughly uh, like less than ten minutes ago. So this is the beginning of the game right now. I actually got this. Um... Oh wow. But I actually got this free on PSN. It was free on PSN for a while. I'm not sure what makes us special, but everything seems to be coming together for us right now. What is that? So far, though, it's been interesting. It seems somewhat simplistic as far as like the like using the imagery and stuff, but hmm. There's no, there's no dialogue or anything, so it's been just, uh, just the imagery so far. Okay, so looks like they left looking for something better. What could that be? Every journey has an end. Well, thank you, Steve. I hope I wasn't missing anything back here. There's something back there. I don't know if I can get to it from here, though. Yeah, I want. I want to try and get whatever that is over there. So I'm gonna go back real quick. I need more juice. Let's try and grab this stuff over here. Yeah, it's simple but effective, at least so far. I'm not sure what that does, but I'll take it. I wonder if we can get high enough for that to work. Let's try. 
can, okay. This is definitely an interesting, interesting world so far. We're seeing like bits and pieces of it. But what's going on, Steve? What are you done trolling for today? Alright, let's see if we can get up here. Oh, we need more hops. You're not trolling. I, I saw you on Twitter earlier, Steve. All right. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go on to the next section here. Twitter. Oh, now, now you don't know what Twitter is, Steve. Now, now it's now it's foreign to you. Okay. Steve, Steve wants to plead the fifth in here now. It's fine. I'm going to take a little bite out of my cookie. Hmm. Well, so far, it looks like whatever it left this place is not, uh, not the best situation right now. And I'm not sure if this game has enemies or not. Right now, it just seems like, uh, you know, we're pretty lonely. this yo who the hell okay well if they're near me it's, it's like I uh Switch you, Steve, out here.
Which is interesting. I'm not sure if, like... I'm assuming it's, like, another player. Yeah, I ain't got the hang time for that. I can't make that jump. Open your mind, Steve, please. That's kind of cool. Oh, CJ, what's up? I'm playing this game, uh, Journey, for the first time, and it's been it's been interesting. I can't tell if it's like an AI or if it's a player. Only more juice. Journey is awesome, that's a player. Okay. So you can just randomly like meet other players in the game. That's kinda cool. It's like Dark Souls with friendlier. Played it like four times already. I'm clearly slacking because. You're a good fellow. How's it going? Welcome. Yeah, I know. I, I, um, my friend Udi, she she um, speed runs this game, but I haven't ever really watched that much of it because I've been waiting to play it myself. Been interesting. With a shout out to Creative, thank you again for that hose. You guys, make sure you check her out. Overwatch is updating, and I don't even have the game. <laughs> So you basically have until that scarf runs out, and then... But I guess when we're close to each other, it makes it, uh... Easier to keep, keep working. So that teamwork, though... It's actually really cool so far. Okay, my death protection right now is trash, so I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. I like how the cutscenes are, like, happening right in front of us, too. It's cool. You've been hooked on Destiny and Marvel? 
I mean, I, I had the pass on Marvel, and it's not because the gameplay is bad. I mean, the game—it's like the gameplay seems really good, but when it comes to everything else, though, uh, like presentation-wise, I just couldn't spend sixty on that. Especially when I got to spend more money on the DLC. Okay, we're just gonna have like a little, you know, little journey conversation. So this is so this is just some random some random some random person is in my in my game playing with me right now. Oh yeah, you can add me on Battle.net. I think I put my info in the uh Discord. It was definitely a pretty game. Is that, is that my mom? Is she leading me forward right now? Okay, so what's up next on our adventure? It's like a train. I just hope they don't get lost or stop playing mid journey. It's sad when they do. Oh, look, like the other player leaves. Well, I'm in here for the long run, so we'll see. I don't know what, what the kind of communication this is right now. Are we speaking Morse code? Because. Oh, wow. This is different. This is gorgeous. Well, you guys see this right now? Holy crap. Oh, hello there, Shimmy. Shimmy shakes. Come back here. So far, it's been pretty interesting. Hey, come back here. This is one of the first games you bought a soundtrack for. I love video game soundtracks. Oh, you're leading me to your friend, okay. Is 
Isn't this game beautiful? Yeah, it is. I'm actually really impressed. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. We've got friends. Yeah, Shimmy has an awesome, uh, an awesome uh, journey cosplay. Well, okay, we're riding the magic carpet now. That's that's. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, that, he thought he died. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, oh no. Okay. Yes, come with me, um, carpet jellyfish. We're gonna, we're gonna fly into the future. Can't you see the sunshine? Oh, any more hang time. He's been pretty helpful so far. This game is greatness. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I mean, it's pretty pretty cool. So like so this is this part of the game like people just randomly join or like do you have to like play through this alone otherwise? It seems like an interesting experience with someone else. I'm not sure if it would be the same otherwise. And he moves fast, Jesus. You've enjoyed every game they put out so far? Yeah. When, when did this game come out? Like 2013 or something like that? Well, it was PS3, right? No, I'm playing like the remaster or whatever. It seems like a more like uh, interesting experience with someone else there, though. Oh, a trophy. It's a flower.
the trophy for beating the whole game with someone? So it's not like we're freeing all our friends. Alright, is there anything else over here we need to get? You know, the game is gorgeous, that's for sure. Yo, oh, Shimmy, thank you for the host. Shout out to Shimmy Shakes. We get a, get a explanation point Shimmy for Shimmy. Gotta, gotta love that Shimmy action. She's uh, taking a little hiatus from streaming until she gets uh, everything together, but totally worth your time. Clown killer that name though. Thank you for the follow. I have no idea where I'm going right now. in the world well that's interesting I have no idea how you triggered that but This is a gorgeous game, though. Holy crap. Music is really nice too. It's uh, it's pretty subtle. Let's look inside the tower. Well, actually, I think we were already over here, weren't we? I remember to flap my wings. That doesn't look fun. Oh, thanks there, little buddy. Alright, free the scarves. 
whatever you guys are. Free all the things. Well, that doesn't look good. Yo, A Town Assassin with that pose. Thank you, my friend. Another guy you guys should check out. This is, uh, this is Journey. Okay, that kind of screwed the crap out of me for a second there, but it's fine. Okay, whoever's playing this has been playing this too many times. I don't even remember where all this stuff is. Nemo know about this game? <laughs> Yo, Nemo, what's up? Nemo the man. You played it twice? Wait, you cheating? Who's cheating? Having someone guiding you? I didn't ask anyone to join my game, they just they just popped in. I didn't even know there was a person until someone told me. I honestly thought it was an NPC until someone told me it was a person. I mean, the experience has been pretty, pretty solid so far. Just being able to fly around and do all kind of crazy shit. Trophy boys, I'll take it. All right, my friend, where are we going next? Time for an adventure. I'll take it. Pretty cool. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid using the word journey as much as possible. All right, because I know that I know that'd be cheesy. But yes, it's, it's time for a journey as well.
No, you can't. I mean, you can't. You can't use it too many times at once. All right. You gotta, you gotta spread that out a little bit. Okay, what's up here? He's got all the goodies. I see the goodies over there too. But so far, this is pretty interesting. I mean, I guess I have someone lure, like leading me around. Or A Town's gonna cry now, but it's fine. I still have a natural, natural knack for exp exploration. As long as it's not puzzles. Oh, it's music, though. This is amazing. I don't think we can hit up once we get down. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> why? Why? Why are we done? This is gorgeous. Well, that's amazing. So pretty. It's like shimmering gold right now. It's not ready for. Wow. Oh. All right, well, let's see what's over here. Another, another room. All right, we're finding all the goodies.
So yeah, I mean, like, it seems like it's, you know, it's pretty simplistic, but... We're clearly, we're clearly building towards something. Uh, on this, uh, you know, journey of adventure right now. Let me see the mysterious, uh, stranger again here. So pretty. I mean, she's the one guiding us to where we're going. Okay, well this part looks a lot more dangerous than the last one, just from the image. <laughs> he said it, yeah, you know, I said it. Just this once. Really shout out to A-Town. And Shimmy. Let me give one the creative as well soon. Okay, this, this area looks a lot creepier right now. What's that? Hmm. All of the goodies. Oh, so it's almost like we're underwater now. I think that's pretty cool, like, it's like you're, oh, I like jellyfish.
So yeah, I mean, it seems like... I'm trying to figure out how the lore behind this game breaks right now. Clearly there's some, there was some shit to help before we got here, but... Oh, that doesn't look good. Alright, please don't eat me. Looks like a, a boss or something. Is there are boss fights in this game because that's that would be pretty crazy. Well, let's avoid that. Right, he doesn't. He didn't like scarves. Why, why the scarf hate? Alright. What's going on down there? It didn't look good. I see goodies. Looks like a gargoyle over there, and a bird statue or something. Oh, look, there's sunlight, freedom. Should be going through the light, guys. Okay, those look like a bad time. Oh, God, get away from me. Good rex. All right, that was slightly terrifying. All right, I'm not trying to get eight. Not today, anyway. We're getting closer to the mountain. I'm not sure, like, how long this game is. I've heard it's pretty short, but still. It's been a pretty solid experience so far, though. Well, so we made the deaths. The depths of the weird sand sea. The apex predators want to eat us. Is that supposed to be us? New adventure waits!
Alright. Well, they're handing out these trophies. I'm, I appreciate that. Hmm. This looks like it's going to be a little bit tricky. The hero. So I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the Zelda vibes now. Are we, are we the are we the the one one the save of the world. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, so apparently we were underwater that whole time. Makes sense, but still. I can see his light, but yeah. I'm running out. Okay. So it seems we can swim freely underwater. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. So we were more aquatic, I guess. And then uh, everything dried out eventually. Interesting. Okay, I think we have to go back up here. Well, I guess that makes sense. Being weird, scarf, water people. To use these giant jellyfish things. So I wonder what made everything dry up. But that is what happened anyway. Ride this giant scarf animal. This is really cool. When you when you played it, yeah, this is pretty cool. 
the game itself is gorgeous. And with there being no, um... The soundtrack is really moving. Wow. get them to stay stay like that it's kind of cool like if you like they, they put creativity into like you know the way players can interact and stuff. You can see all these like twists and turns in the air and stuff, and I'm just like, oh, derp derp. Let's ride our, our friend over here again. It should be the last bridge, right? I think I think we've got it. How was the rest of your, um, your time in, in, in Toontown, in town It seems like everything is thriving here right now, after putting the water back in here. Must be some random loot over here. Oh, it's all full now. What's that? Ancestors? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess we evolved from those things, you know? So I think this might be the, the the bit gate here. The one we saw in the picture or the image that we got shown. Then we're gonna like maybe we're gonna make this like a uh, mountain blow up like a volcano full of water. In the desert. We did it. Is that us? The hero who saved the day? Through the crazy sandstorms and the monsters. This is our last, our last task, guys. The last part of the journey. We just in water though, I'm not sure if I want to go out into the cold after just being in that water. Yeah, yeah, I know. Adventure. This has been quite a ride so far, that's for sure. That's all I can really say about it. This is interesting. Alright. I don't think this is quite the place to, to fly. This is where you get frozen to death. Ooh, look at those pretty red ones. Oh no. Not this asshole again. This is a great hand holding journey, really. 
I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm still having a good time with the game, though. Even if someone is leading me all around everywhere. It feels like a, it's, it's an experience more than anything. Yeah, this wind is a little too strong right now. Let's try and fly. I mean, I think this is pretty cool because, like, for my first experience with the game, even if there is someone like he's played through the game probably multiple times, for me it's still a new experience. I don't know what's going to happen. Really, they've only been they've been mostly just helping me find all the goodies for, like, you know, the achievements and stuff. I feel like another graveyard. I see you hiding back there. What's going on, little buddy? Yeah, you can't fly very much in this this uh, area, that's for sure. That's the first time you've seen the moon. We definitely saw the sun earlier at the desert. Now the moon is uh, making an appearance. I, mean, I think it's pretty cool. You have to help each other to like, keep each other flying. Look at that. Some Game of Thrones stuff over there. Yeah, we're almost there. I know, exciting. It's cold. It's too much. Right now, it's getting too hot right now. Jeez. This is going to be rough. Watch out for White Walkers, I know, right? They're over the wall! I 
don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound good. Whatever that sound is, those, those things. This thing is still flying around up there. Okay, we seem to have a little bit more juice in here. We don't freeze it, F. We're almost there. The mountain's almost ours. We'll be the hero they deserve. Let's go. With the simplicity, but the detail of you know just the little mo the little things makes it really cool. This is too much to fly in right now. I've never had any kind of like urge to do any kind of mountain climbing. I definitely don't want to die of that. These things have like a giant fucking laser eye spotlight. Slightly terrifying. All right, giant snake creatures, please, please don't eat me. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the heck out of here while we can. We're almost to the promised land, guys. been quite a quiet adventure guys I think it is like it's really powerful even if there is no you know words there's no dialogue it's just the game game and experience I was trying not to blow off the edge here
<laughs> we look like walking simulator atmospheric though. I mean like there's 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 definitely like, you know, there's platforming and other stuff going on. We just have to like, you know, pull a middle gear just now and avoid the uh snake creature. But I'm all for like games, you know, giving you an experience that makes you you know not necessarily have to, you know, play difficultly or like or you know that person doesn't have to be, have to be, have to be challenging or whatever, but... Oh god, no! It's using the game to tell a story. I think that, like, I like the idea of, like, games moving more into, you know, the absence for art at, at times. Okay, this is ridiculous right now. I thought I'm about to go, like, to the top of the mountain and fight Ganon. We're too close, guys. We can't. We can't die now. Got to keep going. I don't know our scarf. How are we gonna fly now, guys? We're going in the middle of snowy Mordor, but. This is pretty ridiculous right now. Reminds me of that movie, uh, Moana. <laughs> Rip the Kooji scarf, yeah. That was a beautiful scarf, guys. It's gone now. Is there better? I mean, it held up pretty well, considering we had this shit in the middle of the desert, you know, in, in, in the middle of water. Then in the freezing cold mountain. Benny, let's be bad at Mars.com later this week. I don't even have the games in Poppy. <laughs> like, I didn't I didn't buy the game. So that's not possible right now. If I had the game, I would I would I would definitely be down for that. Okay, we're walking really slow. Okay, we made we made it through the wind. Struggle though. And the music's gone too. We can't we can't die here. We're too close. Where is the mountain? Not like this. Game over. No. Guys. We've come too far. We can't we can't stop now. Good three and twelve. Well, Marvel, Marvel has some stuff going for it, but I couldn't, couldn't justify spending sixty bucks on that game. You know, you know what this is, guys. This is actually just a prequel to Iron Fist. 
in case you didn't know. We journey to the portion of the Forbidden Monks. Oh, we got the juice now. Let's go. Correct me that un unlimited par. We, we, we out here now, boys. Oh, hell yeah. This is like amazing. Oh, yeah, pop those wheelies. Yo, know, this is X tricky out here now. Tricky, tricky. My goodness. It's a new game, Oni. No, this is um Journey. An absolutely gorgeous game right now. Like this is amazing. This is like absolutely amazing. Oh, this music right now, holy crap. Some dead heart, though. <laughs> Here, have a have a giant, giant badge heart. Yo, Rosa. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? You love this game? Yeah, it seems like a lot of people love this game. My first time playing it.
Yeah, this is my first time playing the game, and someone someone's been been leading me along. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, there's no dialogue. You just have to kind of get the story from playing. So we finally made it to the mountaintop. Finally, guys. In one piece. Well, shout out to Rosa. How are you doing, Rosa? Working on some more... Some more gear. It's a moment of truth, guys. It's time to face our destiny. We find out our true fate here next time on Dragon Ball Z. How have you been? I've been, I've been good. You know, I have my ups and downs, so it's like anybody else, but... Can't complain too much. This music is beautiful. Is there a clip you have to show me when I'm done playing this? Okay. I think, we did, I think we did it, guys. Well, thank you for the game. That was, a, that was, that was an amazing experience. GG. But now I wonder what happened to us. Did we, did we move on into the light? Was that what the purpose? Is that our, our, our purpose in making it this far? This music is amazing. The way it like swells, and then there's a the subtle moment. It's kind of crazy. What a... What a, a, you know, experience in itself. I'm really happy. It seems like it's a, it's a solid game to just kind of throw on. If I'm ever feeling down, like, you just play this game. You feel like you're, um, you're, you're uh, traveling towards something bigger than yourself. And then accomplishing it. It's a pretty awesome feeling. Definitely raises my spirits a bit. Jeez. We give Rosa a shout out. Whoa. Yeah, see, I see why um, Shimi, you know, loves the game so much. I gotta get my my um, you know journey skills down. Like I was like doing all kinds of like cartwheels and stuff in midair, 
swag surfing. Well, this game came out in 2012. Wow. Well, well, the remaster is not that old, but still, that's pretty impressive. It's pretty bold in itself to create a game like this, um, you know, not knowing if it would actually succeed or not. Your 4K TV is bigger than the game, look, never ending story, really. Yeah, the game itself is, is it's gorgeous. I'm sure even for PS3, it was, it was probably really good looking as well, but. You play this on, on PS3? Yeah, they, they had they had the game itself um, free on PSN one month, and so that's why I have it here. I was looking forward to playing it at some point anyway, but then it was like perfect timing and ended up going free around you know a couple months ago. And so I was been waiting for the time to play it, and so I'm glad I got it to the time out now. Something that's you know completely different than everything else I've, I've been playing. So it's a really cool experience so far, though. I really like the the atmosphere. And the sound is swelling in, you know. Did you play it on PS now and it looks stunning? Yeah, nice. Companions met along the way. On oh, a crossing? Stoic Bomb, okay, with well, that name. Got the trophies, guys! Yay! Man, it was a, it was a pretty um, you know amazing experience. I'm glad I could share it with you guys. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, what do you say, like. Not the ring story. And it just starts all over again. That's pretty. That's pretty impressive. So I'm. I'm trying to figure out. Like, you know what was. You know. Did we do what we needed to do there? Did we. Did we save the day? Re. Re. re reborn. You know. Those kind of things. Well, thanks for helping out, Stoic Mom. I appreciate that. Have you played Abzu? No, Abzu's on my list too. I haven't gotten I haven't gotten that game yet. Maybe at, at some point we'd uh we journey into that one too. I'm kind of like considering doing like um a mixture of more more games like that, uh you know, in December. But there's a few games I've been meaning to play and I'm thinking that I might actually make them a thing um in December, kind of like more of the psychological kind of games or like more of those kind of experiences because I've been wanting to like kind of put together something that might be a little bit different than um, some of the other themed mumps that I usually do and I really wanted to play uh, Hellblade so I'm thinking about like maybe doing like Hellblade and then like another game like this and like the long dark games where you kind of have like uh, you know an experience and an adventure all wrapped in kind of, uh, in the one you have a PS4. What's this game called? It's called Journey. Just uh, Journey. It's a. Uh, it's on PS4. It's remastered now. I think you can get it on PS4 as well. And all right, child, if you would thank you, Stoic Mom, I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me. It was quite, it was quite, quite the adventure. Hopefully, I'll see you along as well. I'll probably play this again, um, at some point. I'm not sure when, but it's worth playing more than once. I feel like, for sure. I'm not sure how much it, the game itself cost because I I got it for free, but quite a quite a quite a journey as well. I just said journey. Just ignore me, guys. I, I said the title out loud. It's fine. But I'm hoping that we have some more um like kind of games like this. But absolutely, I've heard about yeah. Um, there's another game I can't think of right now that was someone somewhat similar. I want to say. Um, I might consider doing at some point. But I hope you guys enjoy the. Uh, the ride, it's been fun. We'll take some time now, I think, just to kind of like chat it up a little bit.
quite a journey. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, A Town. I have to just put the put the shades on. All right, play the music. Well, that was that was pretty cool. I'm I'm happy. I actually really kind of uh, picked up my mood a little bit with that whole that whole experience there. It wasn't even that long of a game, but it was worth it. Okay, what's what's this, Rosa? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Story, my thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Legion of Doom. Uh, we we'll definitely play some more of this kind of stuff. Um, I really enjoyed having like you know an experience where I feel like we can kind of just play the game and then talk about it after or. You know, it's not necessarily a, a long game, but you get a lot out of it. It's powerful. Can you, can you list a, a bunch of similar -ish games, depending on what you mean, style of gameplay? Um, as far as, like, like this game or in general? There's, there's other games that have, like, um, that aren't that long that have, like, you know, a pretty intense experience to them. But I still enjoy it as well. Let me check my whisper. Let's see what you what you sent me. Oh, that's a clip. Okay, hold on. All right, let's let's see exactly what's going on here. Oh, it was, it was Rosa. Okay. Let me switch screens real quick here and see what we're looking at. Come on, Mama Sita, you can get up there. Rosa, please. Oh! <laughs> so, so, so you, you freaked out when you saw him? I kind of did too, though, because it was it was kind of weird because when it came out the cut, and I wasn't I wasn't quite ready. All right, it came out the cut like just out of, out of the blue. And I was like, oh shit, who's this? But it's actually pretty cool how, how it's done. It's, it's so seamless, like, you know, in the game, you know, it didn't lag at all, or any of that kind of stuff. You know, it just became part of the, the game itself. <laughs> Scared the crap out of you. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was pretty, that was pretty interesting. That's kind of how it went down. But yeah, I think I, think I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, which reminds me though, since this game um, was part of last month's, I mean, not last month, last last week's poll, I have to come up with some another list for a different poll now for for next week. So, um, what do you guys want to see for next? Week? I'm gonna have some games. I'm gonna put together a poll, a vote to get some games uh, on the list here, and then we'll see what we play next time. Um, let me pull it up here. I'm not to chat you guys too, because why not? You know, we can chat a bit. I know that this was a pretty short game, and I wanted to make sure we, uh, you know, get some chill time. Billy premonition is that what did you give to me earlier? I was like half asleep, and so I didn't actually check. Now you know I can't play that right now because I'm gonna say that for tomorrow November. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be another one like um Dark Side Detective that I, I use for my quirky, you know, Twin Peaks Twilight Zone section of the uh, month. But thank you, A Town, appreciate that. Well, here's what's gonna happen, guys. We're gonna get this going. So as far as the games I have for next week, let's see. Um, so games I, I could play. Um, I have Punch Club. Um, yeah, we got Punch Club, uh, Mad Max. We've got the Late Shift uh, again. I could play um, Jet Set Radio. Um, Hand of Fate. Fry their team, uh, Duck Game is on the list. 
Crambo. Um, going home, I'm saving, I believe, is why I haven't played that yet. I'll be getting back to Dark Souls too. Um, that's kind of probably what we what we we'll probably, we'll probably get the Dark Souls. Um, that'll probably be the game I play towards the beginning of the year. Um, the DLC for Dark Souls. Um, City Skylines we have on here. Um, Castlevania. I couldn't get Blood Rain to work. I wanted I wanted Blood Rain to work because it was, it was gonna be so ridiculous that game. Um, Black Lizard Online, I have not touched much at, at all since we started playing over supposed to play it, so. Um, Batman and Telltale series, I think we have on here. You didn't try Aztec yet, either. Uh, and Bastion. Bastion's on here as well. I would love to go through and play Transistor again at some point. Um, like, Transistor and maybe Bastion together. You might try it in October. Well, thank well, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, Deadly Premonition, like I don't I don't know if you've ever seen the game A Town, but I've I've seen a bit of the game before, and it's and it's so ridiculous that, like, I don't even know how to explain it. But it's it's, it's pretty buggy as well. Like on every version of the game, not even just PC. Like there's there's definitely some weird glitches. I wonder, I wonder if there's a trailer for for the game. Let me see. Because if there's a trailer, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for you guys that don't know, I do um, a, a, a full month of mystery and crime thrillers and suspense titles. Uh, we call it Noir November, and it's coming up pretty soon. Um, so I'm getting together a pretty nice lineup of games to play during the month, and we'll be uh, going pretty heavy pretty much almost every day um, for the entire month. So if you guys are about that life, you found the right stream. Because <laughs> we'll be doing a lot of that in the, uh, in the near future. So it should be some pretty cool stuff to look forward to, in my opinion. Aztec would be cool or Telltale. Yeah, that's true. You saw a screenshot and snapped it off. Oh, <laughs> I basically play stuff I have no idea what it is, bruh. Like, you have no idea what you're in for, that's all I'm gonna say. Here, here we go, let's, let's, find, a, let's find a good trailer here. This should do. And the trailer doesn't matter because it literally makes no fucking sense. The FBI is so interested in a small town homicide. Yes, that's the main character. That that guy there. Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm also like turning invisible for some reason. Like the game is it's it's hard to explain, but it's it's definitely weird. I've never seen anyone actually finish it. So is it like Heavy Rain, Silent Hill? It's like it's it's like an old the Twin Peaks. Like, and I haven't even seen Twin Peaks. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, but it's extremely like weird um it's really it's kind of hard it's really hard to explain like just wait till you see it that's all i can say i think that like if you try and play it though like you're gonna get frustrated and not play it anymore <laughs> like you remember, remember when i played um what's the game d3 like dark dark whatever doesn't die whatever the fucking game was called 
It's like that. But like before that time. Let me, let me see if I can find a. Let me see if I can find a find a, another trailer for it. This shit is so weird, dog. Like <laughs> that is known to happen. I mean, like, look, look, look. All right. Here, here we go. Here, here's the here's the OG trailer. All right, before before um before the remaster. There's definitely something in this town. You feel it, Zach? Coffee warned me about it. It said, "Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate." What do you think is really happening here in Greenvale? <laughs> Zach, it's all starting to come together. Look, this, we can just say thank you to A-Town for giving us some, some quality content in November to, to look forward to. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that right there. There you go. Thank, thanks. Thank for that host. Mad Perot. Maddie. How you doing? How was the, uh, the roleplay talk going? It came in at an interesting time right now. I, there's a lot of shit going on on the screen. I know. Don't worry. Shout out to Maggie though. How are you doing? Do you remember what the coffee said? Do you remember what the coffee said? All right. Make make sure that make sure that the coffee is, isn't talking to you guys. All right. If it does, you might want to might want to get some sleep. That's all I'm saying. So, um, yeah, you, you just missed my first run through of uh, Journey. We played through the game for the first time, and it was amazing. I had a great, great experience with the uh, the title for sure. Um, we just we just finished it up. So right now we're, we're just chatting it up a little bit. I'm trying to decide what games I'm gonna put on the list for next week for us to play through. Um, cause I'm trying to do the viewer's choice thing every week. And then, um, since there's a sub, you know, the sub goals, I'm gonna have an option for, um, the subs to choose a game, um, for us to play. And at some point I have to get through Final Fantasy X, which I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I didn't say when I would play the game, but it's gonna get, it's gonna get played at some point. Um, because it was on the list for goals, so. Thank you guys who, um, who subbed. Uh, we did reach that that milestone, so I have, I have to play the game. Final Fantasy X, it's gonna have to happen. Not not looking forward to it, but it's, it's, it's bound. Alright, let me uh, pull up everything else here. But how was your stream, Manny? Journey is really interesting and introspective, from what I hear. Oh, you, you never played it, Maddie? I think I think you really enjoy it. I, I just finished it my first time here, and it was quite an experience. It's, it's a really short game. Um, as someone kind of leading me through the game itself as well, and it's been it was a pretty powerful uh, you know moment. There's like you know this great great soundtrack and music involved as well. I don't know if you can like. There, there's no menu screen or anything. It just, it just says New Journey. Like, there's no... There's no, there's no way to turn the sound or anything up or down. You just kind of start the game and then you're in there. So, it's, it's pretty simple. But at the same time, I had someone... I had someone play along in my game. And I didn't even know that was possible. Until I started. And then... Uh, suddenly we were flying all over the place and... Crazy stuff was happening. You stopped playing Final Fantasy after X2. I heard a lot of things about X2. Well, back when I used to um, live next to UGR, because um, me and UGR grew up together, and I remember him being so excited about um, Final Fantasy X2 or 2 whatever. And he got the game, and he was playing through it, and then just like, at some point, some point during that playthrough, he just was like, "This is this is not the best." 
<laughs> it's not the best experience. I remember like going to like the um, like garage. Like he, he used to have like this little patio section next to his garage, and we would like use like an extension cord and plug up the TV outside on like the balcony, like on not the balcony, but the um, like the edge of the um, like screen room, and we would play video games like outside while inside, basically. Um, and he like he would play like Resident Evil, Resident Evil Three. And like Silent Hill three was too much for me. I was like I was, I was a big a big scaredy cat back then. I wasn't about that life when it came to that kind of stuff. Yeah, someone hopping in used to be really common near release. Yeah, someone actually came by the stream and they were playing with me the whole time. So I guess they were looking for the game. But there are like um, you know other other people that you can probably play through with. I got I got the game for free on PSN. It was actually free a few months ago, and they they dropped it in here, and it was pretty, uh, pretty cool to pick up. But yeah, I heard it's on PS now as well. Rosa was telling me about that. See, so, right now we're just kind of chatting it up a little bit. I wanted to uh, have a little talk before we uh, wrap up the night. Let me put some music back on. We'll, we'll leave the. Uh, the journey for now. <laughs> 